Art has always had the power to change society and show us the path to a better place. Now a group of community leaders hopes to use that creative energy to fight gun violence. Artists are given the weapons after they're turned in during gun buyback programs. Rich Chapman has more tonight on how creativity is being used to start the conversation about an epidemic that is plaguing many inner city neighborhoods. Gathered at this table are people who live or work in North Minneapolis. The number of people around the table that have been impacted by gun violence is real. Their close connection to gun violence has forced them to look for ways to stop the violence and begin the healing. There's a lot of ways that we can creatively come together, right? There's a lot of need, but there's a lot of opportunity. Pillsbury United Community CEO Shonda Smith Baker believes art can help change the dialogue around guns. She helped bring what was collected from a gun buyback program to artists to create guns in the hands of artists. It's drawing awareness through the power of art, through the lens of art, and the emotion that art can generate. It's drawing awareness to this critically important issue that affects communities across America. Artist and now author Jonathan Ferraro says this artwork creatively brings people together and sparks conversations. The kids think that this is the answer, and it's not. A bullet is a, a permanent solution to a temporary problem. Celicia Beeks lost her mother in a senseless act of violence. It was art, a project with photographer Nikki McComb that gave her the will to keep going after her mother died. She says the healing art brings is powerful. And it also gives insight on how you can be a part of the solution. As a community, coming together and saying, you're worth it. You have a reason to live. Don't live to die, live to live. Words this group will take to the people who need to hear them, those who are causing the violence, and people who have vowed to fight it. When people get involved where they live and where they work and have influence on making this community safer, we all win. Reg Chapman, WCCO 4 News. And Reg says that Pillsbury United Communities will distribute the decommissioned weapons to local artists tomorrow.